Right, one of my favourite hobbies is air rifle shooting and I've got several different air rifles and um, one thing I actually like about um, the air rifles is that I can actually do my own servicing. And today I've got a chronograph to show you, made by Woe Sport. It's an accurate velocity measurement um, tool, so um, it's brilliant for measuring the power of the air rifles to see whether they're in the legal limit or if they're not firing properly. A little while ago I showed this one here. This is the E9800 Mark II. Um, this is a very good chronograph as well, um, but it's a bit smaller than the um, new type here. This one here comes in this nice box. It's well packaged. And the first thing that I noticed about it when I actually saw it was the large aperture on the um, front here for shooting. It makes it much easier to um, fire the gun through that one. In the box it comes with a charging cable, set of instructions and a small um, tripod. The tripod isn't um, very good uh, but it has an ordinary tripod mount which is the quarter inch UNC so it can actually go on any tripod really. And another thing I like about it, it has a built in um, lithium ion battery which can be changed if you need to. So I've put the unit on a better tripod, um, like I say the uh, one that it comes with it is um, very poor really, it's not worth actually even uh, putting it in the box. But the actual unit itself is excellent. Um, this one can run with Bluetooth um, onto an app on your phone, so you can actually um, get all the readings on your phone um, when you're using it. So now I've turned most of my floodlights off so that you can see the menu or the screen um, easily and I'll be turning it on with the OK button on the top here. There's a press of that one to turn it on and then it's a press of the um, right hand arrow here to go through various different menus and then obviously choosing the different um, units with the other arrows and um, press OK. And then it's a long press of OK to actually turn the unit off. So I'll turn that one on. And immediately it comes up with the main um, firing um, screen. So I could actually fire through that one now and it'll give me the feet per second of the 4.56 millimeter um, ammo with um, 0.5 5 gram. If I press the right hand arrow again it comes up with the memory and obviously when you're firing you'd have um, all different um, uh, readings up there. Press the um, arrow again on the right hand side and it comes up with auto power off. If I press OK on that one I have various different ranges of um, settings there. I have one minute to um, 30 minutes um, auto power off of the battery, which is excellent because that will save battery power. I've set mine for five minutes, which is just right. I can set the color of the screen, press the down arrow, press OK. And mine's yellow at the moment. If I turn it to white, that's the display. Turn it to red, green, blue, which I find um, very hard to see in this light anyway, and yellow, which is the brightest for me. And then the down button there to go exit, press OK. And then I can set the memory if I want to. So if I went into that one, I could actually set the weight of the ammo and the caliber for each different shot and then choose whatever one I'm going to be um, using. That one's OK, so press exit on that. Then and go down again with the down arrow to the unit. 
so I can set um, rounds per minute there which is good um, or the speed in um, feet per second or meters per second then I have a regulate error obviously if I was going to calibrate the unit with um, something else and then the reset and then I press up again and press the menu button again or the um, left hand one and it'll go back to the main screen so it's an excellent um, easy menu system and a very good display of um, different readings there I'm not going to show any um, shooting today because if I show a gun on here I'll have to um, have um, uh, like um, regulation on the um, YouTube channel which I don't want to do just want to show this unit and how good it is um, the build of it the uh, menus and display um, on the underside of the unit you have four rubber um, stand points if you just want to stand it on a table or whatever um, obviously the barcode for the um, uh, Bluetooth for your phone and then the tripod socket if you want to take the unit apart obviously you would have to take these little rubber mounts out and under there you would find a um, crosshead screw which you could actually take the unit in half if you ever needed to change the battery on the box it has uh, the various different things liquid crystal display it supports eight different languages um, high precision test the error is 0.35% which is a very small amount um, it supports free full speed measurement mobile support Android system and iOS system and mobile phone Bluetooth so I think it's an excellent piece of equipment um, it is a step up to the other one um, having this larger aperture and the Bluetooth to phone um, displays and whatever and um, I'm really pleased with it I've like I said I've tested it out and it's um, spot on I reckon and I look forward to actually using this one to test all my um, different ammos and my various different guns